YouTube is big, like really big. Over the past years, it's become the dominant source of entertainment for tons of people, including myself, replacing TV, radio, telegram, and all sorts of old shit no one cares about anymore. YouTube became my news source. It became my music and podcast app, my movie streaming service, my education platform, Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. And even my wiki how. It's honestly changed the way I and everyone else operate in every way and for the better. Information was at our fingertips and not in some lame use your brain and read format. I could grow my pea brain near effortlessly in my sleep if I wanted to. Life was good. In fact, it was perfect. What could go wrong? On November 11, 2020, disaster struck. YouTube.com was unresponsive. On the surface, it looked fine, but inside, YouTube was falling apart. The videos weren't loading. For one grueling hour, the world stood still. No one knew when this hell would end, and they couldn't even search up a video that gave them the answer. I sat at my desk, contemplating what my next move was. Maybe an episode of Joe Rogan, or an Emp Lemon video to pass the time. It's gone. All the meaning, the purpose of life itself was gone. Without YouTube, what is there? What was there? Or maybe, maybe I was blinded. Blinded by the glittery mirage of YouTube. Maybe all the good things it brought with it carried something foul. An endless sea of content that you could get lost in, but not for the better. One that would consume you and steal your life, minute by minute, all for the sake of Big Tech's infinite wallet, squeezing every penny of ad revenue from each and every one of us loyal customers. Maybe I needed this. Maybe we all did. A long overdue wake-up call. Maybe I should read a book, or go for a stroll. I should call mom, and maybe I'll learn how to cook. Oh, he's back.